Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Sean and today we are going to cover the topic of how to set up a secure virtual service for an HTTP application on AVI. This is my configured scenario where the clients are currently communicating HTTP to the load balancer. The load balancer being AVI and AVI is communicating HTTP to those backend servers. But we want to now add some encryption. So our clients will communicate HTTPS to the AVI and AVI will communicate HTTP to those backend servers. This is commonly referred to as SSL offloading where the encryption and decryption operations will be handled by the load balancer or AVI in this case instead of those backend servers. So let's jump into the configuration. Here we have our AVI controller UI and I have an AVI networks dash demo virtual service and it's only listening on port 80. So we're going to edit this guy <clears throat> and we see a lot of options we can set and I'm only going to focus on a subset but we'll cover the others in future videos. The first one is service port. So we're listening on port 80. I'm going to leave port 80 because clients know to talk to port 80 today and we'll do a redirect to the secure port shortly. So let's add port. Port 443 will be my secure port and I'm going to enable SSL. Once I enable SSL, I get these SSL settings. First one being our SSL profile. I'm going to use the system standard PFS. And let's take a look at what this is. So here we can see our different TLS and SSL versions, as well as our ciphers. So we can enable or disable any of these per our use case. I'm going to leave the defaults for now. And then I can set my SSL certificate. So I've already installed my avinetworks.fe-lab.int certificate. We're not going to change the pool because it's working as expected, but we will update our application profile, which has some functions to change how our application operates. So I'm going to set our system secure HTTP because there's some security settings I want. If I go to security, we can see most of the security settings are already enabled. The one I want to focus on is HTTP to HTTPS redirect, but I will cover these in a future video. So let's save, save, and now let's test our application. So coming to my terminal, I have a curl command already in place. I'm doing a curl against my endpoint, which is HTTP avi networks.fe-lab.int, dash i, just I want the headers, and then a git request. So let's take a look. And a 301 moved permanently. This is perfect. And it gives me my location for my HTTPS endpoint. This is exactly what I want. So now let's test that HTTPS endpoint. 200 OK. This is exactly what we want. So let's jump back and look at the logs. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on my Ivy Networks virtual service. I'm going to check the logs. I'm going to look at the non-significant logs. So we see I have a 301 and a 200 as my recent logs. So looking to the 301, my client makes a connection to my load balancer on port 80, and it doesn't move forward. So I'm getting a 301 back immediately, and it's to my HTTPS endpoint. So let's look at the 200 now. The client makes a connection to the virtual service on 443, and we see the load balancer is communicating to the backend server. And we can also look at the SSL version and certificate type to verify that everything is being encrypted as expected. So this is the end of my video. I want to thank you for joining me and stay tuned for more of our application delivery how-to videos.